Good morning. Today is Thursday, October 13th. I'm James. And I'm Harper. And here are today's top headlines. Nicole Mann makes history as the first Native, Ameri- Native American in space. And also, tomatoes come in all sorts of warm colors like red, orange, and yellow. But now, a new purple tomato has hit the scene. Kona Ice will be here tomorrow. But first, let's go to Vera with today's lunch. Hello, this is Vera with the lunch. Today's lunch is Charleston chicken sandwich with seasoned green beans and Cool Ranch Doritos or Nacho Doritos, PB&J kit or entree salad, side salad, baby carrots, fruit and milk, <coughs> fruit and milk. Don't forget to bring a dollar for cookies. Thank you. Back to Harper. Thanks, Vera. On October 5th, 2022, NASA's astronaut Nicole Anapu Mann became the first Native American to launch into space. Mann is also the first woman to command a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. The 45-year-old is a member of the Wallachie Round Valley Indian Tribe. Nicole Mann has had a long career in the U.S. military including 47 combat missions and a few years as a Navy fighter test test pilot. Mann hopes her achievements will encourage other Native American kids to pursue their goals. The accomplished astronaut may not be done breaking down barriers. She's among the 18 astronauts selected for NASA's Artemis program, which aspires to return humans to the moon as early as 2025. If selected for the inaugural mission, Man will make further history as the first woman to land on the moon. The U.S. government has approved a new purple tomato for growing and selling in the U.S. The special kind of tomato was created by making changes to its DNA. <coughs> the creators say the tomatoes will last longer and could help make people healthier. British scientist Kathy Martin has been working on developing purple tomatoes for years. Though the color is unusual, what's really special about the tomatoes is that they have very high levels of anti anti doc antioxidants. Antioxidants are found naturally in plants like blueberries, blackberries, and red cabbage. Scientists believe antioxidants may help prevent heart disease, and help fight against diseases like diabetes. But tomatoes, naturally, only have a small amount of antioxidants in them. On September 7th, the U.S. government approved a purple t- the purple tomatoes. Dr. Martin says it's the first time the USDA has approved a modified plant designed to target human health. Dr. Martin and her company plans to introduce the tomatoes at farmers markets across the US in 2023. They also hope to sell the seeds to people who want to grow their own. Keep your eyes peeled for purple tomatoes. Also, nah. also Kona Ice is three dollars and it will be here tomorrow on Friday. Now to Cameron with today's weather. Thank you, James, and today is Thursday, October 13th. Today is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 81, quite warm for this time of month. Just stay tuned for D- Think Deep Thursday up next on ONN. Thank Today is Think Deep Thursday. Is a, today's Think Deep Thursday is a little bit different. We want to get your deep thoughts on ONN. I'm going to ask you a deep question, and I want you to write 
draw, or create something that answers that question. Take your time and think about your answer. Be sure to include lots of specific details and to consider many points of view. Today's Think Deep question is, what would it be like if people could fly? Write, draw, or create something that answers this question and put it in the own end box by the library. Or if it's too big, you can give it to Miss L. You might even see your Think Deep Thursday writing or artwork on ONN. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Now it's time for our birthdays. Olivia Cook in 4D and Colin Stevenson in 3B. Please come to the library to get your birthday pencil. Now it's time for our birthday joke. What does a tea bag wish its friend happy birthday? It's happy birthday, best tea. Have you been logging your Have you been logging on Beanstack? Third, fourth, and fifth graders, be sure you are completing your creepy crawlies challenges. Stay tuned after the broadcast for another special segment about our upcoming fun run. I'm James for ONN. Have a wonderful day. And I'm Harper from ONN. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Smaller than Bigfoot, larger than a typical rodent. What in the world is in my night watch camera? Uh, Ranger Sarah, guess what I brought for lunch today? Bread, tomato, lettuce, two pieces of ham, cute mustard face, tuck it in with the cheese, bread. So a sandwich. Uh, close, but a sandwich. <laughs> Our adventurers are back, okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Booster Ranger Station! Ranger Johnny here! And Ranger Sarah here! Okay, who out there is ready for another day to gear up for your booster program? And the plan today? The National Park State Name Riddle Review. The National State Riddle what? National Park State Name Riddle Review. Okay, got it, I'm ready. Okay, which state are the Everglades in? Florida. Which state? is Acadian. Maine. Which state is Yosemite in? California. Okay, but what do all of these have in common with our adventurers and their donations? I'm gonna go different states. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. Donations, adventurers, different states. Uh-huh. The 50 state challenge. Bingo. Yes. Okay, adventurers, we want to challenge you to see if you can get a donation from somebody that does not live in the same state as you. Can your school get a donation from every single state? And speaking of state, should we see what our next national park is in in our Grand Land Adventure Story? Let's do it! Did you know Zion National Park has one of the scariest hikes in the world? Of course. Why do you think they call it Angel's Landing? Wait, I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, I'm terrified, but it doesn't mean a guy can't dream. Millions of years ago, when dinosaurs still roamed the earth, the Virgin River started wreaking havoc on southwestern Utah. Today, the canyons and cliffs it left behind 
form one of the most incredible places on Earth, Zion National Park. Each year, over four million visitors come to explore the park's gorgeous sandstone cliffs, narrow slot canyons, and cascading waterfalls. For over 6,000 years, small groups of Native Americans lived in the area, including the Southern Paiute tribe. As early Americans began settling in the region, President William Howard Taft named the area a national monument to protect the canyon. In 1919, Congress redesignated the area as Zion National Park. The word Zion is ancient Hebrew for sanctuary or refuge. One of the things that makes Zion so unique and so unforgettable is its slot canyons. Slot canyons are slim gorges often found in soft layered rock. They're named for their narrow width, often squeezing down to a sliver, and the colors are dazzling. And there's no better slot canyon in the world than the Narrows, one of the most popular areas in Zion. To hike the Narrows, you have to actually walk through the Virgin River, and some of those rocks are slippery. In some places, the walls are less than 20 feet apart, yet rise more than 2,000 feet. Whether you're scaling the sheer cliffs of Angel's Landing or trudging through the Virgin River in the Narrows, it takes grit to keep going in a place like this. So what character trait does this park have to teach us? Well, what trait do you think Zion has to teach us? Always bring an extra pair of socks. <laughs> Grandpa said Zion brings something out of you. It takes grit to explore. I think Grandpa learned perseverance. Huh? Perseverance is about not giving up, even when things get tough. It's about having the grit to keep going even when you feel like quitting. Exactly. So whether it is tackling a new subject or a new sport or forming a friendship, it takes perseverance to succeed in life. The next time you feel tempted to quit something, challenge yourself to keep going. So Zion taught Grandpa how to live with perseverance. Cool. I can smell the treasure. We're getting close. I wonder what park we get to visit next. Wow. The grit that it takes to explore Zion National Park in Utah? Whoa. Perseverance. You have to have it at that park. Well said. Now, I know you know what time it is. We have to end our time together with the cheer. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Grand Land Adventure. But you know what, Ranger Sarah? You have perseverance. I do? Don't you remember when you first took that pest maintenance job? You had to take that huge test to remember every single pest in the entire environment. That was hard. <sighs> yeah, I can see that. And. You're still working hard. Early days, long nights, trying to figure out what this mystery animal is that visits the park every night. Oh, you are right. This animal has me stumped. Mm, it's a doozy. Thanks. I guess you're right, Ranger Johnny. Yeah, no worries. And you know what? I'd love to help you out. Oh my goodness, thank you. I would love that. Okay, let's do it. Here's the deal. At this point, it's gotta have four limbs. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the species, hard to say. Yeah.